So today it will be a lesson to help you organize your ideas and structure your ideas. This is an example of a, uh, a graph organizer or a chart organizer, sorry. Uh, in this example here, we are basically going to summarize a text, a technical text. Uh, so let's say you have a technical text about weathering processes and you want to structure your ideas in order to express yourself better without having to uh, rewrite and recopy the sentences from your, uh, from your text. Uh, therefore, you try first to summarize your ideas. You put your title here, which is Weathering Processes, in this kind of example. Then you try to uh, uh, divide it in two parts. And uh, you, go and you go to the specific, which is the final stage, should be your exemplification line. So here we go from the, most, from the, the generic part to the most specific part. And basically, we've got one level, two levels, three levels, four levels. Uh, as you go down, you go really uh, to the most specific part and then you are detailing your information. Uh, so as I said, we put here weathering processes and here I need a verb. So in my verb I will say, may be divided into uh, physical or mechanical or uh, chemical process. So weathering processes may be divided into physical or mechanical and chemical. This is an example. As you can see here in between, I will uh, need to uh, mention some connectors to express how I move from this statement to the other statement. So it could be a connector for consequence, it could be a connector for similarity, depends on the idea you will state in your diagram. While here, you have what we call time expressions. So you know when you move from one step or one stage to another, you need a time expression. And of course, you need to know uh, to have a list of these time expressions and uh, this will help you avoid the use of end, end and polluting your discourse by using end, 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 end. But instead you can say first, then the following process, next, and of course you need to close with finally here. And you continue your explanation with your verbs. So every time you have an intersection here, you have a verb, verb here, connectors here, time expressions here, so what is left is again to fill up uh, all these boxes from the uh, information which is provided in the text. Weathering process, physical, chemical, and here you give some example of processes such as transportation, erosion, uh, any other chemical process like oxidation, osmosis, etc. So basically this will help you a lot uh, express your ideas in a very scientific way since this is oriented to scientific students uh, such as engineers and uh, of course then you remember what kind of grammatical points you need to use.